bring families together, and uh, this was awesome. Is that not the best thing you have <laughs> ever seen? It's like a pinata in the air. It is. I think I was more shocked, McKenna, that there were so many eggs first falling from the helicopter, yep. but they didn't break heading down to the You still ground. have to hunt for them. You can't yeah. just, you got to get them too. That, that is my favorite story. Industrial strength Easter eggs I for the kids. I would love that. <laughs> I would love that now. I was going to say as a child, I'd love that. I'd Today. be so happy. Yeah, I would, I would have been out there running with <laughs> Good the kids weather for to get it some too. Starburst jelly beans. Oh, that would have been my, my thing. And maybe a couple of Reese's uh, Easter eggs as well. <laughs> the weather, the big story, of course, was the sunshine returning for our Easter Sunday. We've seen it, but we've also had a fair amount of cloud cover today, too, with some of that lift in the atmosphere. Had some strong wind, what we call a jet streak in the weather world. And that's just a, some really strong wind upstairs in the atmosphere. And oftentimes that'll bring us a pretty good cloud deck like what we've seen here today. Still seeing that in the Red Rose City as we're taking that live glance off toward the east. A nice amount of cloud cover still on satellite. No rain though on the Storm Team Live radar network, at least locally. But watch what happens as we zoom out. You can see some rain to our southwest. This is kind of the beginnings of what is going to be an unsettled April 1st for us. A boundary setting up. We're going to have an area of low pressure developing along that stall front. And between the two, we're going to have a nice soaking of rain as we head into the day tomorrow. Temperatures, though, at least today for any Easter egg hunts, were on the milder side of where we should be for this time of the year. Middle 60s still in Gettysburg. We have a 57 in Lebanon, hit 52 in a Lewistown, and 58 in the capital city. And we'll be in the mid to upper 50s through the remainder of our Easter evening. So if you do have any last minute Easter egg hunts to get to shouldn't have any issues there, but through the overnight rain chances start to in increase and by later in the night we'll see the rain beginning to overspread the valley. Temperatures only fall into the middle and upper 40s. Then tomorrow we'll have the rain around especially early, but I still think it's going to be a damp, dreary latter half of our Monday with highs rounding out in the low to mid 50s. And it doesn't stop there. A stronger storm system moves in Tuesday into Wednesday, keeping the rain chances high. Thursday still going to have some showers lingering, maybe even a few snow showers, especially across the northern tier of the Commonwealth. Here's predictor through Monday morning. This is 530 seeing a nice batch of rain moving into the valley. So if you are off tomorrow from school or work, that's great. But if not, you will have to get up and combat that rain lingers through the morning, keeping the clouds and I think some drizzle with the help of that uh, onshore flow through the afternoon. Then the next system starts to move and this is thanks to that warm front trying to nose our way. So we start to see more showers developing Monday night into Tuesday. And I think this is where the heaviest rain is going to fall. And I think Tuesday going to be the most unsettled, dreary and wet day of the next few. In terms of that, we are expecting at least a small potential, a low threat of maybe some flooding across the valley, especially in the flood prone, low lying areas around the region. I think two to three inches is, is a possibility for a good chunk of the mid Atlantic and the Susquehanna Valley. This is something we're going to continue to monitor closely. Now with that warm front moving in, we're also monitoring the threat of severe weather. We do have that marginal to slight risk around the region, but I think it's a really conditional threat. And the reason I'm thinking that is because that warm front likely remains to our Southwest. I don't think it actually makes its way into the valley. So with that, temps stay cool. The stability of the atmosphere remains in check. So likely not going to have any severe weather, at least from what I can see. Still may have some problems with thunder, but I think our severe risk going to remain low. But make sure you stay tuned for our latest forecast as we head into the next few days. On the News 8 Storm Team 10 day, a really wet stretch for us as we head through the next few days of April. 48 Thursday, again, maybe a few rain or snow showers. 52 on Friday, maybe a lingering shower or two, but finally start to rebound. We dry out plenty of sunshine a week from today. And for the eclipse, looking like a really nice Monday, McKenna. Could have highs close to 70 under plenty of sunshine. What a